right, let me show you how to use the uh, GFD Auto Track feature. This will enable you to download and export multiple series at the same time using uh, the GFD Auto Track feature, as well as save your workbook so that you can revert back to your previously searched um, progress and re download them all over again uh, if you want to update all your numbers. So, uh, this is very easy to use. Uh, this is the GFD Auto Track, and this can be found on the menu across the top of the screen. Uh, there are some detailed instructions on how to use the GFD Auto Track, but let me first show you how to do this, uh, and you'll see how easy it is to use. So the first step here is we click on the Create New tab, and then a, a window will appear, letting us uh, select the name of our of our uh, new workbook. So in this case, I'm going to do uh, G20 CPI, and I click on Submit. So I've created this workbook, as you can see here on the top of my screen. My active workbook is G20 CPI. Uh, next, I need to add the series that I'm interested in having in this workbook. So there's a couple different ways you can do this. If you, if you know the symbol or the, uh, the keywords, you can type those in and use the GFD auto search. And this will help populate the information. Or I can go to the GFD search engines and search through. Uh, so in this case, I know that it's economic data. I know that it's the countries are G20 and the information is consumer price indices. So I click on search. This will filter out uh, some of the series that we're interested in. Let me go ahead and select all the series that are on the front page here. So I select the top box here and this will put check marks under all the rest of the boxes. I can also add some more from the second page as well just to make sure I have a quite a comprehensive uh, series in my workbook. So I've, I've gone ahead and selected some more here as well. Then I hit the select tab on the bottom of the screen and this is what will actually add them to my workbook. So as you can see here, here's all the series that I've downloaded to my workbook. I go over to the settings tab. This will enable me to filter or to specify first of all how far back do I want this data to go. So let's say I'm doing an analysis going all the way back to 1980. So I select my years. Next, I select my data fields, open, high, low, close, volume, open interest, or close prices only. In this case, because this is just CPI data, there's no open, high, low, and close, just the close prices only. I can do various adjustments to this data as well, like adjust for a period percentage change, averages, inflation. Uh, so I'll just leave uh, the default settings there. Uh, data frequency, here I have the option between weekly, monthly, quarterly, or annually. In this example, there's no daily data, so that's not a that's not a possibility. So let me go ahead and select monthly. Date format, I can choose between American or European. Uh, exclusive dates, do I want all the dates or only the dates where there's reportable data from uh, all the markets? So in this case, I've selected all the dates. Data fill method, backfill, forward fill, or none. In this case, I would select none, and then a pivoted versus stack. Then all I do is click on download. This will add this to the bottom of my uh, workbook queue. So as you can see here, here's the workbook queue. I scroll down to the bottom, and you'll see here it's waiting. It's pulling the data currently from our servers um, and making any adjustments that we might have specified. Also, this might be a good time, actually once it's done downloading, to go ahead and click on the Save button. And this way, I'm sure that I'll be able to uh, revert back to these uh, to the saved workbook. In, uh, you know, let's say for example in a few months from now I need to update my search I can uh, re-download the same workbook with the same settings and it will update all the numbers for me without much work uh, on my end so uh, this is a great tool to use I highly recommend it and um, it's a great complement to uh, the global financial database if you have any questions please contact sales at global financial data and we'll be happy to help you out thanks for your time